Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another uh, Sunday Coffee with O-Tram. Um, this episode's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I was down in Fabtech, or down in Atlanta for Fabtech Expo uh, most of the week. So I wasn't in the shop uh, doing any filming or pictures. Uh, I had a press pass for Fabtech in Atlanta, but it was so overwhelmingly huge, I really didn't get any video. Uh, I did get some pictures. So I've kind of strung those together at the end, and I got to meet a bunch of cool people. So there's some selfies uh, towards the end there as well. Um, yeah, as far as work at the shop this week, all I really worked on was the 80 rear bumper. I got some work done on it on Friday, and there's a couple of clips coming up for that as well. Uh, so yeah, this one's a short version. I uh, hope you don't mind, but I think I got some cool pictures from Fabtech. Uh, if you enjoy what we're doing, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and if you really enjoy what we're doing, check out our Patreon link down in the description below. And to those of you that have uh, donated to our Patreon link, I really appreciate it. So let's get to the videos and pictures. So here I'm doing a little bit of TIG welding on the uh, latch for the 80 rear bumper. I was originally going to MIG weld this like I've been doing all the rest of it, but it was so close to the tube that was already welded on, I wouldn't be able to get in there and uh, finish the weld if I needed to, so I decided to go ahead and TIG weld it. That way I can make a nice flat bead and uh, not worry about anything. And I'm just going to weld the top seam and the inside seam in now. Uh, I'll weld the rest of it once I've got the arm back off and I can flip it over on the welding table and make it easy to get to. And I'm going to come around to the front side and just tack the corners uh, just to make sure they don't wiggle while I'm setting the tension on the latch and getting everything ready. And coming over here to the press brake, I'm going to bend up the stoppers that you can adjust to keep the uh, arms from swinging in too far. And this is some uh, half inch by three flat bar. It bends it pretty nice. And then here I'm setting up the the interface where the two latch arms or the two swing out arms come together. And I've got a piece of UHMW milled out to go in there. I haven't put the uh, the hold down bolts in it yet, so it's still flopping around and slides out. It'll eventually get a countersunk screw in the back of it to hold it in there but I wanted to make sure everything fit and worked properly. And here's another view from the back side. And that just, you know, keeps everything locked together, keeps the arms level, and makes it so they can't rattle. Now 
And then we've got my awesome press pass for Fabtech. Uh, a desktop water jet cutter, which was really cool. The uh, new turret punch from Scotchman on their iron worker. Uh, big ass fans, speed control goes to 11, like the Spinal Tap movie, which was awesome. Big bandsaw for my wish list. And then a mitering bandsaw also for the wish list. Uh, the fireball tools table was super awesome. I picked up one of their cast iron uh, mega squares while I was there. And just a really cool toolbox from Fine. And then it's hard to capture the scale of some of these machines. Like this was a mandrel tubing vendor. Uh, and then this giant tubing bender uh, with the tube it bends behind me. Uh, the weld porn table, which was awesome. Got a bunch of good stickers. And then the Optrell booth. I really want the new Crystal 2.0 helmet. Uh, Chicago Pneumatics new air grinder. And Chicago Pneumatics new air hose swivel. This thing was super smooth. Uh, a giant rolled plate. Uh, Jody from Welding Tips and Tricks. Uh, Ian from Big Tire Garage. Uh, Keith Rucker from Vintage Machinery. And then a little steam engine that uh, Keith Rucker and Jim Bollinger fixed up. And then the surface plate that Adam from A-Bomb 79 has been working on. So yeah, that was pretty much my week at Fabtech Atlanta. I uh, hope you guys found that interesting and enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe below, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.